Hello guys, so today I'm unboxing the smartwatch uh, M8 I got this from a local uh, online store in my country um, as you can see it's got unseen dial calls, alarm clock, music player uh, stopwatch, phone book vibration pedometer anti-slide reminder remote camera and a fm radio um, so let's open it up okay so packaging is okay but cheap but this is uh, the watch cost me 300 Rand which is not a lot for a smartwatch in our country so I'm just gonna leave this aside and it's got a holder there's a USB cable mm, nothing fancy charge the watch and a user guide which is Let's open this up quickly all right so it's got a QR code to download the software for the watch Um, and then the reverse side instructions in Chinese, I think. Uh, and then let's just go to opening the package. Oops. Okay, so it's got a plastic protection underneath and this is what it looks like um, it's got a silicone band watch is quite uh, nice looking um, it's power on button and this is where you charge it so it's got a open up like so okay so I've uh, already uh, put this on yesterday to watch some other clips on YouTube um, trying to figure out how the watch actually works uh, it's been paired to my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus um, and as you can see it reads your notifications and uh, your SMS's you can also call from here so I'm just going to okay so these are the built-in features um, okay, so it's got a mod pedometer um, and the Bluetooth functionality. Uh, your phone book. So um, usually it says disconnect. I'm not sure what that means as yet, but uh, these are the numbers you can access from your phone book you can read your messages um, okay, like so um, it is a bit slow the interface um, so, okay and then uh, this is what I really like 
the camera feature. Okay, so we're back. It's got a sleep timer. Uh, so that's the analog. And then just tap on the screen. That's the digital log feature for the watch. Um, okay, it's got an anti-loss setting. Um, as I said, okay, you can see it. So the anti-loss setting usually engages with your phone. Um, okay, which is here. Okay, the interface is quite slow, but then again, the watch is very cheaply made, but does uh, most of the basic things that you want from a smartwatch. The battery life itself, um, so I charged it for about two hours yesterday, and by this morning, um, so you can get out of get out of 10 say 10 to 11 hours um, it's here so it's pretty good and uh, the one thing that, <coughs> that you really want to uh, so this is how you could call and stuff um, it's really hard to find a good app to link to the watch um, I'll put the descriptions on what I've used in the comments below. Um, uh, <coughs> Cause <coughs> there is a smartwatch helper on the the Google uh, Play Store, but uh, yeah, it doesn't give you fun, full functionality of uh, the notifications and the camera access. So I had to download another app for that and uh, all in all it's a, it's a good buy for 300 rand um, and, and it's pretty impressive so it's got a nice feel to it uh, they're available in three colors uh, which is red white and black i've chose the red color um, and uh, the one thing that i I'm still learning to do is answer calls without um, getting to speak to the watch itself and instead of because it plays the the caller on your phone okay well that's it guys thank you for watching this video give me a like um, if you like it and subscribe to my channel where I'll be posting more videos in future um, that's it and have you guys uh, Merry Christmas and a good new year cheers